Hi friends, hola amigos. Thanks for joining our monthly STEM time. We will be using supplies that hopefully most of you would have around the house so you can experiment with me. Let's get started. Okay, so for today's experiment, you are gonna need some wax paper, you're gonna need a toothpick, you're gonna need either a container or a glass of water, and then a straw. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut a piece of wax paper. It doesn't have to be very big. There you go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our water and we're going to um, stick the straw in the water and then we're gonna create a section with our pointer finger. So when you let it go, you've got little drops. So you're going to hold that let it drop there's one big drop another big drop let's do four. Oh, that's a big one okay um let me let me zoom in a little bit now that we've got the drops okay cool uh yes right there Okay, so now you're gonna get your toothpick and you are going to submerge it. I'm gonna scooch that over. You're gonna submerge it, let me move the straw, in the water, so get it nice and wet. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna play around with the droplets and see what happens when you get it super, super close, okay? So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more on, I think it's this one right here. And I want you to notice what happens when I put the toothpick close to it. What do you think is going to happen? Take a minute to think about it and then I'm going to put my toothpick right there and watch what happens. Did you see it move? We'll do it one more time. Oh, I hope you can see that. It's wanting to touch, it's wanting to move. There we go. Okay, so what you can do is play around with the droplets. See what happens when you move them around on the wax paper. They kind of just slide a little bit, but all the water stays together. I wonder why that is. And then if you want to really play, try and get a water drop and see what happens when it touches another water drop. What do you think is gonna happen if I put them close together? Let's see what happens. They connected together. So we can play around. I'm gonna bring it down here. Huh, that one connected. And I've got a drop over here. So I'm gonna try and get that to connect with that one. Oh, that's a huge water drop. And then we're going to just slide it down and get it to connect with that one. Super cool. I hope you had fun experimenting with water today. Water molecules are attracted to each other. Because of this, the drops are attracted to each other and to the water on the toothpick. This attractive force is called cohesion. To experiment further, try different liquids such as juice or milk and see if your results change. Please let us know what happened during your experiment. Thanks for joining us.